Hi there, well it's that time of week to talk movies. Before we get into that, Tasha Green was last week's winner on our movie video. Well done Tasha from Comfort, you get free Movie House cinema tickets and if you fancy winning some free cinema tickets for yourself, all you need to do is comment on this video, tell me what the last movie was you went to see and you could be next week's winner. And don't forget to tag in who you'd go along to the cinema with on your free trip tag, share, like the video, all that kind of stuff. But make sure you comment as to what the last movie was you went to see. Right, let's get into things. The Shape of Water. I was really surprised by its Oscar win last week. I thought three billboards had it in the bag. But a lot of people since The Shape of Water won the best picture have gone along to the cinema. It is still there to see what all the fuss is about. I find this film hard going. You really need to leave your mind at the door when you go in to see this. It is a rather odd concept to say the least. I found it really hard to get through the entire film. It just wasn't for me. It was too far-fetched. So this lady, Elisa, who works in a 1960s Baltimore lab, stumbles across the military's big secret. And that secret is, of course, that they're housing in the depths of the lab an aquatic creature. Well, over time, she really begins to form a bond with this creature. In fact, she falls for the creature. Uh, she creates a unique bond and very soon learns that its fate and very survival will lie completely in her hands. It's called The Shape of Water. It won the Oscar, which means it's gonna be around the cinema for a few more weeks. If it sounds like that's your thing, get along and check it out. Okay, moving on, something a little bit different. We've still got Red Sparrow there. You've got the Tonya Harding uh, story with the Margot Robbie, of course, I, Tonya. Uh, you've got Jason Bateman still there with his brand new movie called Game Night and Black Panther, of course, probably my favourite film of the year, still showing at the movie house also. But there are a few other things we could look at for you this week, including Wonder Wheel. This is set in 1950s. Um, Coney Island, where a lifeguard tells the story of a middle-aged carousel operator and his beleaguered wife. Now on the surface it doesn't sound like much, but a great all-star cast with this. Kate Winslet's there, Justin Timberlake and Jim Belushi as well. So that's called Wonder Wheel. It's one of the new ones there this weekend. And Gringo is another one that has just opened. Uh, this one uh, tells the story, well it's a rather dark um, comedy for a start, mixed with white knuckle action and some dramatic intrigue as well. It explores the battle of survival uh, for a businessman who finds himself crossing the line from being a law-abiding citizen to a majorly wanted criminal. That's called Gringo. And uh, one more that we'll tell you about that has just opened over the weekend. If you're looking for something a little bit more dark, zombie-like, you like your horrors, your thrillers. You've heard of The Purge and movies like that, maybe in a, a similar vein. Uh, instead, this one, which is called Mum and Dad, which sounds on the surface like it could be a nice movie to take your mum along for Mother's Day or whatever. No, do not be doing it. This tells the story about a teenage girl and her little brother. They must survive a wild 24 hours, and during which a mass hysteria breaks out of unknown origins. It causes parents to tap to violently turn against their own children. Yeah, yikes. It's called Mum and Dad, and it's one of the new ones there at the movie house this week. Whatever you're off to see on the big screen, enjoy. Don't forget you could get there for free on us with thanks to Movie House. All you need to do is comment on this video, tell us what the last film was you went to see, and we could be making you our lucky winner. We'll talk movies again a week from now. For me, Stuart Robinson, have a great week. Bye for now.